Hello, this is Janice again, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's still like scene building, but it's a little bit different. What I'm going to do, instead of pressing this guy directly on a card, I am going to do what we call fussy cut. So I'm placing him on this paper, which is a watercolor paper. I like using this with the alcohol inks because... Um, it just helps keep it from ble bleeding through and you can also use uh, watercolors or different markers it's just keep it from bleeding through as much so I'm putting him on that today and so I'm going to ink him up as you can see here and for the sake of time this is why I'm doing it this way so I'm going to ink him up and if you notice also here this comes from a kit that I got from Unity Stamping Company. It's the kit of the month, and you have her in here, which I'll be using her later. So all this come in this kit, and so this is where this guy is coming from in this heart that I'm going to be using as my background. I went ahead and die cut some hearts out, as you see here, because I'm going to be using them as a part of my background. But I wanted to get this... Um, pattern on my heart so I went on and placed it on my stamping pad and placed that right over that like so and ink that baby up sit down Down. And there you have it. So I'm gonna I want to use that and so that's why I, that pattern you can do it directly on your card, but I chose to do it that way. And so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this card. I'm not gonna color my guy because I just want to show you guys what I mean about fussy cut. So we take it and we Cut them out like you would cut out a paper doll. I don't know if you guys remember that. I might be dating myself. <laughs> but um, we used to have paper dolls back in the day. And so we would cut them out. And I used to make my own. I guess that's part of the reason why I got started in cards. is because I used to make my own paper dolls <laughs> as well. And so you would continue to fussy cut him around and... I'm going to do the lady as well, but I'm not going to do it on the video because um, of time. I just want to get you get you all to see the best basic layout today. Sorry about that. <clears throat> of how you can do card laying and creating a scene so many different ways. Usually I would color him before I fussy cut him out, but like I say, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. And so what I would do is put him on my card base. <clears throat> and I'm also going to cut this baby out because I just want this. Now I could have kept that on this die and worked with it, and that would have been fine too. This heart that's already cut out. But I'm not going to do that. And so I got that cut out. I got him cut out like I want him. And because I'm having the ability to lay him down directly on this once I color him and put him on that I don't have to mask him off and so I'm gonna put my heart where I want this guy here I'm going to 
places like so and I'm going to color that as well eventually and I'm going to place him here but what I want to do is on the background using this stamp I'm going to stamp in a background So in order to do that, I'm not going to use a mask. I'm just going to basically put a piece of tape over it. And I'm going to use my ink from Stampin' Up. So I'm using this stamp as part of a background. Or as my scene, as I use this. Scene. say it's endless what you can do I literally mean it is endless what you can do just being a little creative and I think I'm okay with that and so what I'm gonna do once I color him in I'm going to place him over like so and there you have it and so that is another card scene with a different twist getting ready for valentine's and so hope you guys enjoyed it